All right. Now we got through the bone, we're going to use our knife for the, for the flesh. And we got two halves. So, you can see um, we didn't hit any of the loin segments. Split it pretty evenly. Um, you can see spinal cord right, running right through here. Um, still some blood left in there. But uh, ribs, loin runs from here all the way up into here. Well, the shoulder comes right about here. So we're talking about a loin from here to here. Ribs, ham, uh, butt on top. So you get uh, Yeah, we're, we have two of everything. Okay. These are all very symmetrical. I'm going to go ahead and take the foot off, the ham. Sharpen up a little bit. Make sure you wash your steel after you get done doing this. Are you taking a loin and we're going to move this bone right there? Possibly. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So we want to go ahead and take the foot off, then we'll take the ham off. Foot's right back through here. We're kind of aiming for joints here, guys, but if you miss it, it's not destroying anything. Does it have like a red dot if you miss it? Like An alarm goes off? A <laughs> red dot in the middle of the bone if you miss the joint. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to separate the ham right here from the body. So what are we looking for? When we separate animals' um, limbs from its carcass, what are we looking for? Joints. We're looking for the joints. So I want to get in here. And start feeling around for the joint. That's a big one too. And like when you cut it right on the bone, it makes it easier to cut, right? It sure does. Should be able to. But these are there's a the problem with these is this is a ball and socket. And that socket kind of fits over the side of it like that. So, whereas a chicken, it's pretty easy. Ow. The uh, pig, it's a little bit harder. Quite a bit larger. How old? Not real sure. 95 pounds, so what did you say? Yeah. I was going to say six to eight. size really how big it gets I mean they're all so standard and it really is like breeding little clones okay suckling pigs are the, are the little ones we're not gonna get any suckling pigs in so if you guys want to look here real quick it's kind of cool. If you guys want to come up here real close, you can see that ball and socket that I was talking about. See those two things fit together? That's the joint. And that's what I was looking for the whole time. So, ham. Take the skin off, churn it up a little bit. Brine it for about three, four days. Smoke it for about eight, nine hours. Rub some uh, brown sugar and uh, rub some brown sugar and uh, and Dijon mustard on that, and people will pay you for that. Salt water. 
This needs to be brined. It's a slight cure. Okay, now I have two segments up here. We've got the fresh ham, which is about this section right here, and we've got the butt that's up here. Um, our cart isn't here yet, but what? Yeah, you got to stamp the pig. Um, that's a uh, USDA inspection stamp. So what? What's the uh, what's the USDA stamp mean? Wholesomeness. In uh, pigs, it means it's free of trichinosis. Okay, that's what the stamp means. So uh, that's something you're going to want to remember. <laughs> At least until you take the exam. <laughs> okay, this stamp is made out of, is made from uh, blueberry juice. Really? Mm -hmm. Blueberry juice. Yep. So what we need to do, you can see where the armpit is right here. We need to take this section off, and what we'll be left with is loin and ribs. We will peel the skin back. We can cut that. We can brine it for a couple of days and then fry it for crackling. Peeling the skin back ain't nothing. Huh? Peeling the skin back ain't not a whole lot. But we do want to go ahead and take this section off right here. Again, this is shoulder. So what are we looking for? Joints. What I'm really just doing is trying to get under the skin here. Yes. The what? Most of the time, these bigger joints are going to be ball and socket. The, where you run into uh, different joints are is when the uh, the ribs connect to the spine, like through here. Remember when we were? Uh, remember when we were uh, t Frenching? Yeah. When we when we were Frenching bones, we come down through there with the with the uh, with the uh, cleaver, and that joint right there is going to be completely different than a ball and socket, but. You can see right here is part of the shoulder blade. So I'm trying to get around the shoulder blade. Up into here. Now we've got, if you can see it from this side, from about here down, that's a fresh ham, and this is the butt. All right, there's no real delineation between the two, um, but you can, you can pretty much see that, right? You can see where this grain starts to run here and this grain starts to run south, like east, west, north, and south. I mean, it's relatively self-explanatory. When you get into doing this kind of stuff, if you get a chance to do this at some point, um, don't be intimidated. You can do it, okay? Yeah, I mean, just get in there and start looking for obvious signs like joints, different grains, and you can do it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I am in no way, shape, or form a professional butcher, all right? <laughs>